Hello everybody, so today I want to look at an alternative of how to import and set up FBX. Uh, this is actually my second attempt as my dog was making so much drama in the background I couldn't even hear the audio. So thank you to Jack for that. Um, so anyway, uh, let me just quickly explain and show you how I'm going to import this FBX and I will explain the process that I went through to do that. Uh, I wasn't going to make this lesson, but then I've been messing around this week with some other things that I was doing and I realized there was another option for this. So I thought I'd quickly make a, a video to explain to you how I did this. So I want to first of all go into my uh, file and let's go down to import film box FBX. Here I'm going to put my uh, FBX in. It's already selected it here because I did it previously and it's this trebuchet uh, 02 FBX file and I'm going to leave everything here as default and I'm just going to click import. I give that a second. There we go. So now I can see that I have this, uh, just this one I need, uh, this trebuchet uh, 02 FBX1 and it's a sub network. So let's open this up and I can see that I now have the different parts of this uh, FBX. It's not all just one part. So I can see, will I highlight it? So I can see I'm highlighting the weight. Uh, I've got the launcher. What else is there? These are quite small things. Maybe the rope you can see. Okay. And uh, what's this one here? Oh, okay. That's the frame, etc. Right. So there's a bunch of stuff in there. And you can see that it's a, a medieval siege weapon if you not seen these before and they're pretty cool this has just a weight here it pulls over this arm this launcher and there's like a pouch here that will hold kind of something equivalent to a cannonball which would often be set on fire too and that will throw this uh, this weapon over this cannonball will fly over to wherever it wants to be smash down a castle wall and everybody runs in takes over the castle and it's all time for tea and medals happy days all right so um, that's basically how that works now if you're wondering where I got this from I got the model from a company called Kitbash 3d and it, they have a pack medieval siege I'll try to remember to leave a link down below if you want to check it out um, so yeah they have some things there if you want to check it out but I think there'll also be some free ones if you want to look online uh, there'll probably be a number of these kind of things or catapults or something similar. In reality, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you're going to be doing it with whatever FBX that you're importing. Now, originally when I uh, when I imported this FBX, I imported it into Maya, uh, not into, into Houdini, and it all just came in as one piece. So then I had to go through the whole thing and select all the different parts and then group them myself, etc., etc. right? Uh, you can also do the same thing in Houdini. I was already in Maya and I just did it in there and then exported it as an FBX. But uh, you, if you avoid that and you just import the FBX in its entirety and then you can select the different parts and create groups from them etc right so there's a, a few uh, different ways that you can do that if you um, only have houdini or of course if you want to do it in houdini it doesn't really matter in reality okay so <clears throat> i've got all of this now let's say that i want to separate these so that i can maybe texture them differently or i want to animate them in this case differently um, I can't really do much here in this sub network. So what I'm going to do instead um, is I'm going to create a different geometry uh, directory in order to do this. Now you can see there's already a bunch of geometry directories here. Okay, and this has the um, the file node where it's coming from and the materials, etc. Right, but um, this is not what how I want to do it. It's going to be a bit. Uh, awkward to set this up so let's just go into another place to do that let's turn that off a minute I'm gonna just create a geo node and let's go into that and now I want to have something called object merge ok 
Okay, that's here. And what this allows me to do, it allows me to bring into my scene here, this Geo 1 scene, it allows me to bring something in which is already set up within this particular file. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna give this another name. I'm gonna call it Trebuchet. Trebuchet. Sounds French, I'm assuming it is. Uh, oui, oui, oui. Trebuchet. All right, so uh, next let's uh, go into the object. Let's, uh, and I wanna select the piece that I want. And let me select, um, yeah, let's select the launcher first, accept that. Okay, I might have to zoom out of it there. Okay, so there you can see I've just imported that one part into my object merge. Let's create another one. Uh, there we go. All right, go Ian. All right, in case you didn't know, my name is Ian. All right, so um, let me go frame. There we go, nice. And so I've now got my uh, my frame and I've got my launcher. I want to now add them together. Let's create a merge, select both of them, drag that into there, select, and now I can see I've got both of them. If I go back here, I can see in fact that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I would need to have eight merge nodes to bring all the parts in and then I would merge that together as one. You will see, however, something rather strange and that is the size. Don't ask me why this is, I don't know the answer to this yet, but FBX seems to bring in uh, objects uh, at a ridiculously large size sometimes. So as you can see here, this is getting close to 1,250 meters in this direction and around 1,500 meters maybe there, 1,250 meters there. So you're looking at about 2.5 kilometers <laughs> for this. Clearly that's way too big, right? So let me go in to show you one that I did earlier that will maybe explain this much more quickly than me putting all that together. And this is uh, this one here, the one I made earlier, and I want to select this. Okay, and I can see that I've got the whole trebuchet in, and I've brought in all different eight pieces of this. Okay, it only took me a few minutes, but I might as well do this rather than bore you stupid while I do it in the video. And then what I've got here, I don't really need this actually, but I had some problems in the viewport, so I decided to remove the, the color attributes from that, and that seemed to fix it. Um, okay, and then here in my transform, I've had to reduce the overall scale of it. And I found that with FBX, when it's really, really large, I found that 0.01 seems to give me a good place to start with so if i click on this i should see that it pretty much disappears that's because it's all hidden down here at the moment so let's hit f and i can see now i've got my much smaller trebuchet and this time i can see the size of it and i'm looking at how big there 10 meters that way and how far this way Okay, about 10 meters as well. So I'm looking at about 20 meters for the whole thing. Um, that might actually be too small. I'm not certain of the size of them. I would have to check, uh, but they, these things would be pretty huge quite often. So it would maybe even to be slightly bigger. But anyway, you get the idea. I've had to reduce this manually using a transform node. Um, it's no big deal. All right, so. That's it basically. So remember that the differences from the previous video is that this time I have to go into file, I go to import, I go to this file box FBX, and I'm good to go. All right, hope that was useful. You guys have a great day, bye bye.